Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> mm. Oh Lord, I gotta stop drinking that water so fast. Let's see who on here today. I have to put the little hat on my baby. Oh Lord, forgot about me. <laughs> I had to put the hat on my baby so y'all don't be talking about my baby. <laughs> oh, hey, y'all. Mama, why is you always on my live? <laughs> Mama, what you doing? I know I always come on here as soon as I get up so y'all can talk about me looking like crap. I just woke up. And every time I wake up with well, y'all on my mind, I got to get right on here. With bags under my eyes and cold in my eye. Don't talk about me. Divine. <laughs> I put your hat on, baby, so they don't talk about your bald head. <laughs> hey, mama. Whew. In January, I'm going to get some sleep. Watch. Watching January. Grand rising. I'll say good morning. We're not morning in the morning. Pay attention to those words with grand rising, yo. Don't y'all don't gotta lie to me. I appreciate y'all. Ain't nothing beautiful about these bags. No. <laughs> hey yo. Y'all so nice. But it was just on my heart to get on here this morning. Oh Lord. <laughs> I'm going to wait till a lot of y'all know why wouldn't you, I be on your lap, I'll be there soon. I know my. Look at her, she's gorgeous. Oh, thank you. My baby don't got no hair. I know y'all keep telling me stop worrying and she's going to get, I've never experienced nothing like this. Okay? Why? Why she don't got no hair? <laughs> Grand rising, y'all. I'm literally like two seconds fresh, so don't talk about me, okay? I didn't brush my teeth. I didn't do nothing. I came right on here to mess with y'all. Sure did, because I got something I need to say. Sleep, looking, sleeping, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I look doped up because I was doped up on that blue vervain last night. I ain't lying. <laughs> I didn't get enough sleep for how much I dosed off that. When I tell you blue vervain is so gangster, like, you don't, you ain't gonna have no postpartum depression, like. But see, if you take the blue vervain and you don't get enough sleep, you are gonna wake up like this, <laughs> cause it have you in that like drug state. But it make you feel so good. You talking about if you like coming off of smoking weed, and you know how you can't sleep after you didn't smoke so long, cause I was just like that too. And you do blue vervain, you doped up, like it's alcohol, it's alcohol, especially if you make it. Right, and I made it real right. I ain't lying. But I ain't getting enough sleep, man. She's supposed to have enough sleep on, and she's going to wake me up. Wake me up all early. So I'm like, I'm 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 drug-induced. Herbal drug-induced, okay? So, but I feel I slept good, but just not long enough. You know, once you have a baby, you sleep for a minute and a half. You take your showers, 30 seconds. You know, you stuff your food in your mouth. <laughs> they get bigger. It's all good. <laughs> It's all good. All right, so I don't want y'all to be mad at me <laughs> that I came on here with that nonsense today. Not nonsense, but um. so let's talk a little bit. Get out my inbox with uh. Well, what's your ingredients? I don't want to hear it, okay? that That's what I'm on here for. I'm on here for with with that wild stuff this morning. Straight up, straight, straight out the, the corpse. I woke up, whoosh, ready. I say, oh, Lord, I just did this. Didn't even brush my teeth. I was ready because I'm tired. <laughs> well, tired physically too, but stop stop asking me for my ingredients, man. I'm tired of that. Y'all going to make me fight y'all. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's one thing. Here, here's, here's how I feel. I'm a person just like you a person. So, for instance... Say, say I'm not eating alkaline because we out of town and I go to a restaurant. I'm going to ask the people, look, I don't do no soy. 
I don't do no corn. Yeah. Tell them, divine. I don't do certain stuff. So I'm going to let them know, look, I don't do none of that. So what don't have it? I ain't going to be like, hey, what's all the ingredients in this pie? What's all the ingredients in the next one? What's all the ingredients in this pasta? No, you do it the right way, okay? You tell me what your problem is. <laughs> and then I'm going to let you know what tea you could take. And then I'm going to let you know if you have an allergy, you still can take the tea. Just leave me a message, okay? Like, y'all got me on here looking bags out today just to tell y'all that. You know what make me even, like, even matter? Y'all don't ask no other ingredients. Did you ask the chef what's in that deadly pie you just ate? Oh, what do you stuff that chicken's ass with? No, you don't do that. Do you ask your doctor what that lubrication is when he about to finger you and test to see what condition your vagina in? <laughs> yep, I'm getting real. I'm telling y'all the real because that's just what it is. When you go to the beauty mart and you get all them chemicals for your hair, you don't Google all them ingredients. You don't even know what the hell some of them words is that you can't even pronounce. <laughs> Period. Okay, what about them prescription pills? Y'all ain't asking them ingredients. What about that lotion or that deodorant? Y'all ain't worrying about none of them. But soon as a real goddess starts selling some herbal natural teas, and this is the catcher, I use the most gentle herbs a person could use because I am very intelligent at my craft. I don't play with more serious herbs that you have. You could put it this way. You got elderberry that's gentle, and you got what? Hydrogana root that's harsh. Now, when the girl who was hating on me was telling everybody, oh, she making money off her teas. She shouldn't be selling her teas. Y'all could go to Mountain Rose, which Mountain Rose, you know, that's cool. They, they good people, whatever, and go get hydrogen root. Girl, you telling people to take that? You telling people to take hydrogen root without mixing it with something else? How long could they take it for, sis? Did you tell them that it's, you could only take that for two to three days a week max? And your dosage have to be so low because it's such a strong herb. Did you tell them that, sis? No, you didn't tell them that because you don't know what you're doing. Right? So why you hating on me telling me I'm leading people wrong? You you don't even know what you're doing, sis. So just, we got to remain hater free and sucker free. We got to stop. I'm not hating on nobody who sell herbs because they got enough room for all of us. As long as you're doing what you're doing right. Okay? Only time I'm going to have a little suspicious comment in my back, the back of my head, is if your brother or your son dying from kidney failure and you selling kidney herbs. Then I'm going to just be a little suspicious. I'm going to be a little suspicious if you selling hair cream and you don't got no edges. That's all I'm going to be looking at. But I'm not going to be hating on you if you doing what you do to do what you do. Because there's enough room and we need all of y'all. That's like me hating on a doula. Sis, you need to be a doula. You need to be a doula. We all need to be doulas. That's like me hating on a pregnant woman. I'm pregnant. She's pregnant. Ah, what? No, 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 no. Okay? <laughs> Y'all got them tattoos, but that's not cool. Because tattoos have a lot of mercury. When I tell you the good universe had really chosen me, because all these surgeries, I don't know how I'm alive. I don't know how I'm not brain dead, mercury filled, everything. Tattoos. In my mouth, just a mess. But the whole point is, I want you to know, because even if you feel like, hey, she got on this live and she talking about me, I am. <laughs> I am, okay? <laughs> I'm talking about you. Y'all come in my inbox and you say to me, what's your ingredients? Sis, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to give you a list of them ingredients, but you don't get all of them. <laughs> I don't know if you knew that, but you don't get all of them. You just not getting all of them. And that's just what it is. And it just kills. No, I'm serious. Because they, they get so concerned when it's the herbs. I ain't lying. It's it, it's so, it's, oh, I, I just need to know what I'm taking. I'm like, girl, you had a seven-piece chicken sandwich last night, and you didn't even know there was enough stuff, stuff in there to give you a heart attack this morning. And you weren't about the herbs. The herbs. Stop. Stop the foolishness. And then this be the worst one. My doctor need a list of the herbs I'm on. You know what I'm... I be thinking to myself, Lord Jesus, please don't let this girl buy from me again. She playing with the doctor and she playing with me. I don't want to die. Okay? Because <laughs> you already know what he going to say. I be, I be thinking to myself, they think the doctor going to support the herbal teas? That's a confliction of interest right there. So I don't really know 
like what be the process you know but then i gotta think to myself okay you dealing with people who need to heal mentally okay cool so i mean y'all don't even check with the man eating before you let him skeet skeet all up in there and then it's another one that just oh listen i got a, a lot going on okay all right <laughs> i'm not getting enough sleep I'm touring around the country trying to be this great, beautiful doula herbalist and give y'all support. But y'all come to me and you doing all the hard work. The dude ain't doing nothing. He didn't eat six Popeye chicken sandwiches, um, eight pieces of church and chicken. What I can't even say it right. He didn't smoke 20 blunts and you want me to sit in my email with you for two months and act, and we going to go back and forth about what the problem is. I told you what the problem is. Your man ain't doing right. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm not a therapist. I can't give you no relationship advice. I don't know what to say. Sis, I don't know how we got... They doing that to a lot of people. If you didn't got unfriended from me, from me, I don't have time to unfriend nobody. I swear. Literally, me and this girl was just having this conversation in my inbox. I think that Facebook is doing that. If they see that I'm not interacting with you, like as a... Like going on your page and clicking stuff, they delete you off my page. I don't know. They, they're gangsters. I don't know why. Now I'm new to your channel. I love your channel. I love y'all too. My daughter has never asked me. Right, girl. If you're allergic to something, let me know. Like, you know what I'm saying? That, that don't make no sense to me. Like, and then, oh, love. Oof. Let me breathe for a second. Because I, oh, I had to go back to the man situation. I, <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. I can't keep saying the same thing. Like, I can't keep saying. And then I know y'all be lying to me. You think that I don't go on y'all profile picture and see which one the sickest? Like, if you been on my teeth, I'm coming because I ain't going to be on here long today, Demond. I ain't lying, I promise. I know I was saying I'm not going to do it. You know, you think that when you say, oh, I've been on your teeth, I go straight on that profile picture. Straight on it. Straight on it. I want to see how he look. I want to see how you do. How you looking. Because I can tell which one of y'all sick. You know, I'm not going to be rude and be saying all certain times so I can see. And you're going to tell me. So I'm going to come back in your inbox. I'm like, yeah, okay. So, uh, you know, y'all following the guy. Yeah, we've been following the guy. You lying, sis. Don't lie to me, bruh. <laughs> Don't even do that. You think I can't tell you're not eating off that guy? You think I can't tell? I'm like, okay, so y'all done gave up this and this and this? Yeah. But you just posted a picture you was high yesterday. For real? So you gave up smoking. When? Just a, a second ago? Don't play with me, bruh. <laughs> like, don't even do that. Some people be knowing this hubby and be coming secretly in my email, like, email, like, sis, I know for sure it's him. I just know. I'm like, send me a picture. I'm going to let you know. Send me a picture. I know it's hubby. Hubby got all the signs of low sperm count. Hubby got all the signs of I feed your fibroids written all over his head. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? This is factual. Men can feed your fibroids. If you could catch an allergic reaction from what he eating that you're allergic to, what are y'all thinking? What are y'all thinking here? Y'all probably saying, oh, that's BS. You mad? Don't be mad. Here. Here you go. Here you go. I'm going to put you to sleep. Du -du 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 I got my baby turbo. I got to watch that. Oh, my God. I hope y'all didn't see that. Okay, so let me cover myself so I can show y'all the baby. Yeah, let me see. Okay. You mad, Divine? Don't be mad. Booga, booga, booga. Okay, so what I wanted to say, it's an actual factual, okay? If the man, okay, first of all, I can't say all I can say. Y'all need to come to some of these seminars, please. Listen, go, anybody who has been to my seminars, y'all need to come in and let these women know how real we get in person. I ain't saying some of this stuff on Facebook. Y'all got me bent. It's never going to happen. I can't say it. I, I just can't. When me and you meet personally, and you come to one of my seminars, it get gangster because we talk about all that stuff. I won't let you record me because, you know, I have brain. I'm not stupid. I can't say. You know what I'm saying. So y'all need to make a conscious effort. If I'm close in the city near you, come holler at me. Come see me. Even like in uh, um, Maryland. You know, I'm only speaking for an hour, but you have an opportunity to, to get a consultation with me. We'll talk about things that will never be said on Instagram. Keep that in mind. It will never be said on my statuses. I keep it real, real when we're in person. Okay, I'm coming.
I'm coming. Hold up, y'all. Hold up, hold up. The online seminar, I'm going to say stuff. I'm not going to say what I would say when I knew you. I mean, in person. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad. Divine. Divine, I'm sorry. I didn't even do nothing. What you mad at me for? You mad because I'm not putting you in the camera? Huh? You got to eat the other way around. Here. 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 There you go. All right. So, you know, listen. Be looking around here. Yeah, they want to catch her allergic reaction off the tees. I hear the, the foolish stuff. The foolish stuff. I know sis then went ate a six-piece buffet last night at a Chinese restaurant and going to tell me that she woke up this morning and the tees made her sick. No! <laughs> no! The tees ain't make you sick, sis. It was the damn buffet. Stop the foolishness. I use. I am very intelligent in what I do. I'm not a Google person. I didn't learn this off of Google. This was a lot of hard work. Nature taught me most of it, okay? I use the gentlest herbs. Babies could use these herbs. Most of the herbs... Let me not say it. Children, pregnant, come on. Stop the foolishness. My herbs... Granted, it's true. Everybody is different. Everybody is going to respond to a herb differently. I mean, but we're talking about things that are so gentle... You're going to get, what, a headache? <laughs> Ooh, oh, my God. You talking about some side effects that they talk about on other stuff, which I'm not going to say. And they say real fast at the bottom, we'll die. <laughs> we'll sue us in about 10 years. We'll cause heart attack and die and stroke. Okay? You, that's, that. I mean, we're not saying none of this about my... Just stop. <laughs> stop. Stop the foolishness. Like, I'm just not with the foolishness. Y'all so concerned about my ingredients. You're not getting them all. Sorry, it is what it is. I'm not giving them to you. They're my ingredients. They're my concoctions. I just want you to know when you come and ask them for me. I mean, we, oh my God, I can't even talk. Y'all know what I'm saying. When y'all ask me my um ingredients, you don't get them all. Keeping it real. So stay hater free. Stay sucker free. Support black businesses. <laughs> Support small businesses. Okay. And bear with me. I have never seen such rude people. Who's this lady comment on my status? My friend has been emailing you. I'm disappointed. Sis, I'm disappointed that I can't get to them how I want to. But guess what, sis? When I got somebody checking them messages, when I didn't made enough to get me a store, and that shipping two days with that invoice and all this not messed up, don't come back. <laughs> okay? Bear with me. I am a new mother. I am a gangster mother at that homeschooling all three of my children. All right? It's real out here. I got just as much love for y'all as y'all got for me. And don't say that I don't because I don't even know some of y'all personally. And I do this, 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 and that. And I'm not going to talk about it because I don't want no damn award. But I love each one of y'all personally. So don't sit here and feel like I don't got no love for you. And I'm just trying to ignore your messages. I'm at home all day scratching my vagina hairs and saying, oh, F those messages. Ooh, F them all. No. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Give me a chance. I'm going to get to it. And then I ain't even going to lie. Some of them I never see. I don't know if they go in spam. We send them. Stalk me. Stalk me and give me that energy like you put into that man who you want that relationship to work with. I don't got no problem with that. Now, I'm going to see it after that. She's going to be... This is my third email. Okay, sis, my bad. Let me see what you got going on. I got you. Bear with me. I just gave birth. Y'all literally watched me be pregnant. I gave y'all my whole life around here. Y'all here, Divine? This all y'all child right here. I need some child support payment. <laughs> Tell them. <laughs> Tell them. Say, I'm all y'all babies, okay? <laughs> all right? All of y'all. Y'all all watch me be pregnant. Y'all also can and knocking me up now. I'm like, <laughs> nah, I, I be joking. I'm funny like that. For real though. For real. Y'all, y'all got a bear. Man, bruh. Y'all adapt such these professional. What's the ways? What what can I say in an appropriate way? Y'all adapt these these ways that's not us. Okay. We we grew up in villages. We help people. We don't do all that foolishness. You a professional. Yeah, I'm a professional. I'm a always handle it, whether I'm right or wrong. I'm always handle the situation. That's just who I am. I'm going to be like that. But child, come on. And then don't say to me, oh, well, why why would you have a business if you don't have the time? Okay. No more baby booms for y'all. <laughs> 
No more crafts be gone for y'all then. Go find somebody who could do I can't stop. That don't make no sense either. I'ma stop if y'all need me. So I'm just trying to do what I gotta do, right? Right. Don't be mad. Come on, Divine. Don't be mad at me. All you want to do is wake up to take your morning poop and then go back to sleep and be mad at me when I'm on live. <laughs> I'm coming, y'all. I'm coming. I got to put her on one of these breasts. Shoot. And then I support black businesses. That's another thing, too. If you tell me you got a business going on or something like that, I'm coming to spend money. Tell me when I have, well, I'm not going to spend money if you got chemical lipstick, if you got sugar scrub. I ain't spending money like that. Sorry, y'all. But I'm going to come spend money. If it's something I could use or if something I could support or something I could give to somebody, I'm going to come spend money. So I, I support all all small businesses and all black businesses. That's just what, I don't even do paid promotions. Because I got to like your product to talk about it. You could be my mama. I love you, mom. I know you're on here. But if your product isn't good, I'm not going to stand behind it. And that's just as real as it gets. Period. So if you got a good product, I buy something from you. Then I'm going to be like, nah, sis got a good product. Let me talk about it. I don't I do not do paid promotions. You're not about to pay me to lie on your stuff. And that's real. Because I don't want to hear nobody saying, oh, Crystal said that this was good. No, you didn't hear me say nothing was good because I'm not going to say it's good if I don't like it. And that's period. <clears throat> so... Let me shout out a few, a few black businesses right now. So you got Raymond. I always say this boy name wrong. Uh, R-A-H-O-M. He got his little cookbooks, man. He be doing his thing with them alkaline cookbooks. I put the tips in the instruction sheet for y'all. And then y'all say to me, you know, how do we prepare the food? Well, I gave y'all Ty's Conscious Kitchen, who was on YouTube. Read the list, too. Read the list. Because... I am already can't keep up with answering emails, and then y'all mad at me when you come in my email asking me, telling me you got a headache from drinking the tea, and I told you don't drink it hot or warm, and I know that's what you've been doing because that's the symptom of a headache. So y'all got to read that list. Y'all got to read that list. It is now on the website under tea instructions because I know it's a paper list and you could lose it. Oh, Ty Lee, happy birthday. I think I forgot your birthday. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to send you something. But happy birthday, Ty Lee. Happy belated birthday. So beautiful. Y'all be lying, man. Y'all know I look like crap. But um, <laughs> I appreciate that, though. But anyway, you got um Michelle Footman, who just started Superb um Herbs, Superb Botanicals. And she got the sea moss. Like, she doing her thing with the sea moss. That's what's up. Who got it? Host got the sea moss. Who I bought from? Who was real good? His name Ramble. He got the sea moss. You know, it's always ninety nine excuses. Here's another thing too. Oh, uh, what they be telling me? Oh, I gotta stack my money up to get the product. I don't know your financial sis, uh, your situation, sis. I don't, and I'm never gonna judge anybody's financial situation. But I feel like this. Stop looking for me to, like, give you something for free. When I know damn well your face is beat with, like, $300 worth of makeup, $25 worth of makeup, the tea 25 Some of the tea is $15. $15 lay off that weed this week. Because that's giving you what you don't need anyway. So, I saw that and I was like, oh, hi, Crystal. How can I start my own herb business? <clears throat> You got to do a lot of work. Don't be giving people herbs that you don't know nothing about. You you got to do a lot of work. I don't know. I, I mean, herbs get tricky. You, you got to do a lot of work. You got to do a lot of work because a lot of people, Google cannot be your answer. Google going to have very conflicting information. I feel like, okay, for instance, you can't be a painter if you don't know how to paint. So if you're trying to be a herbalist, you have to have that calling to be a healer. And that's straight facts. Because if not, you're not going to do it right. Period. Because I don't know if y'all heard Dr. Sabi say it. Because y'all not going to make me feel like I'm some weirdo. When this man said <clears throat> that he go into the forest and they give him. Matter of fact, there was this lady who I was talking to. And she grew up in a village in Kenya. And she said it was the herbal lady that I reminded her of. And she said that the lady would go into nature and they would tell her what herbs to use. And 
And literally, she said that the universe would tell her. Now, I knew she wasn't lying. Of course, y'all gonna make it like I'm crazy if I tell y'all some stuff like that. It is what it is. You don't get downloads from the sky, maybe because your scalp is covered with weave. I don't know. I don't care. That's your personal, like, business. There is some of the points where I literally just learn. And then I might go back and research just to confirm. Literally, that's what it is. So if you don't know how to heal people, don't be no herbalist. Don't do anything you do for money. Do what you do because you're good at it. Don't do that. If you paint pictures, paint pictures. I can't paint no pictures. I won't be an artist. That's what it is. You know, so don't be around here doing it just because it's in high demand. That's not going to have y'all being successful. That's going to, you going to be hurting people. When the universe see you hurting people, you're not going to get abundance. If you're walking around here doing something that you know is going to hurt somebody, you selling something that you know is going to destroy wombs, you going to have some serious karma on your hands. If you know better, you have to do better, period. <clears throat> so, with that being said, the whole reason that I started this live, because I got to go, because she's eating her feet and that's cool, whatever, but she probably won, mama. That's right, it's your tea. Yes, my damn tea, bro. Y'all know... I think this is what, you know, it's a lot that go into this. I put a lot of work into this. A lot of work into this. It took me, like, a long time. Then I had to find glasses that was lead-free because I wasn't giving y'all no herbs and plastic, which defeated the purpose because when you buy stuff in plastic, the chemicals that's in the plastic leach into the herbs or into the drink or into the food. You know, I don't want to hear nothing about BPA-free. Plastic within itself is dangerous, whether it's BPA free or whatever. So, come on, uh, Divine, don't be mad at me. You want to look in the camera, huh? That's what it is. She wants y'all to see her too. I'm sorry, because you shouldn't be eating that, Divine. Y'all better come get your baby, no, I'm playing. But anyway, so, it's a lot of work that going to this. So, am I going to get offended? You know, the all ex shampoo companies. What's in my shampoo? That's killing me. I mean, what's in my shampoo? What's in that makeup I'm putting all over my face? You don't give a damn about none of that. But when I tell you, hey, look at this dandelion root, you got to take 17 million grams to even feel woozy. Oh, I'm making sure to see what's going inside of me. Please, girl, please. I just seen you had pigtails on your on your damn status. I seen you eating that pig's booty. And you burned about my herbs. You lying. <laughs> you lying, sis. And then, I swear to God, like, if I follow you back, I'm not judging you if you're not no alkaline vegan. I'm not judging you if you eat meat. I'm not judging you if you got tracks in your head. I do not care. But don't come in my inbox and say, sis, I didn't try two baby booms. And I ain't pregnant, and I just seen you had a fish platter. Don't do it, sis. You can't run from me. I seen you had that fish platter. I seen you just dyed your hair orange. And you telling me my teeth ain't get you pregnant? You ain't get you pregnant, sis. It's gangster like that. I be wishing I could really keep it real with y'all, but I got to be sweet like pumpkin pie around here, bruh. <laughs> but I'm tired of the game. Stop playing with me. You didn't get pregnant because you didn't get pregnant because you didn't want to get pregnant because you couldn't let go of what you needed to do to get pregnant. My teas work. My teas obviously work because I got reviews. Duh. I don't know how to Photoshop and all of that stuff, y'all hollering and all of that. So my teas work. You got to work with yourself. Period. Okay? I'm here to keep it real with y'all. I don't know what y'all want from me. I don't know what y'all want from me, bruh. But, like, I'm not going to do it. So, PSA, keep it hater-free. Keep it sucker-free. Don't ask me my ingredients. When you ask me my ingredients, I'm going to tell you a few. You ain't getting them all. <laughs> You're not. I'm sorry. You're not. Y'all don't play with Dr. Sabi like that. I mean, I'm not saying, like, he ain't better than me or whatever. He a great man. Y'all calling that office asking. Even on his website, it say, straight up, look at here, sis. That boy say all the ingredients are not listed. That's what he tell you. That elder tell you, suck it and keep it moving straight up like that. Y'all want me to be Hansel and Gretel and all of this beautiful, you know, Mary Poppins. And I'm going to be all of that, but stop playing with me. I know you lying. Y'all not doing what y'all got. Good morning from Alabama. Anyway, so let me keep it Q real quick. I got the seminar with Q, you know, October 2nd. 
it's gonna be juicy. It gets real juicy when we when I do tours and I come around. So uh and next year, whoo, I'm thinking I could take January off, but looking at this, I'm thinking I can't do nothing. That's cool, it's cool. <laughs> So I'm going to start doing some doula training. I'm going to go around. I'm, I'm going to need cities where y'all want me to go. And I'm going to start touring with poor Divine. You ain't tired, Divine. You tired, huh? Look at her. Poor baby. She like, I'm tired of this. Tired. Tired. I'm going to go around. I'm going to do the doula training. But it's going to be the whole seminar incorporated with the doula training. I'm going to do show y'all a little rexology, however you say it. I'm, I don't know how to pronounce their English. You know, for babies to poo if your baby's constipated to get your baby to sleep, stuff like that. Um, I can show y'all a few pressure points where you touch on the body. And it's going to cost y'all a little bit. I am not traveling around the world doing no four-hour seminars with a baby hanging off my breast, a five-year-old running in the back background, and my 15-year-old, who will be 15 at that time, just looking pretty. And y'all think y'all going to come and spend 25 bucks. I should be charging y'all the same amount y'all pay for that fur y'all be putting on top of y'all head. Because it ain't cute. I should. I should. How much y'all pay? $3.15 for that? I'm going to charge y'all $3.15 for that fur y'all saw on y'all head, okay? <laughs> I'm just playing. Whatever you do is what you do. But I'm just saying, stop. Don't, don't undercharge me. That's what I'm saying. What I'm doing is work a billion bucks. Because I'm trying to bring life, not not physically, but I'm saying to myself, here are herbs where you can conceive. Here are herbs where you can produce life. You feel what I'm saying? Here are herbs where your kidneys, I can't really, you know, say, y'all know what I'm saying, where you can be better. You know what I'm saying? You spend so much money to treat and cater to your physical appearance and the outside look, inside looking like shit. You pass a piece of, um, you pass a fart and the whole, everybody in the room about to die. Like Dr. Sabi said, if that came out, you was in you. Y'all don't really be caring to spend money to heal yourself. That's a problem. I feel bad for some of y'all when I be seeing that. And I be seeing y'all looking beat and sis tell me why I got to get my money straight. I be like, oh, okay, sis, see you. I'm here when you, when you're ready. But I be feeling bad for her because she don't really care. She care more about them pants that she got on being name brand than a vagina that is covering up smothering. But that's her. That's what she got to deal with right now. They don't got nothing to do with me. Whenever she ready, that's when she going to be ready to change her life. You know, somebody sent me a screenshot of they was talking to this girl in the inbox. She was like, you know, she had endometriosis. She was hurting and stuff. And she was feel like she was about to die. And then the girl was like, look, Crystal can help you out. She got a tea for $15. You know what this girl going to say? I already have an herbalist, a herbalist doctor, and I just can't afford to pay another one. First of all, fire that nigga. I mean, <laughs> fire that person. Because there ain't no way you should still be suffering with endometriosis while you paying this, this man. Unless you ain't doing what you got to do. And then secondly, $15? You got to be joking me, sis. You got to be joking me. But that's all on you. That's all on you. I don't know what to tell y'all. Because I know if my child was sick and I couldn't heal up being an herbalist, and no, I'm going to go spend some money. But that that's what you do. That's what you do. But what I'm saying is stop undercharging me. Y'all know y'all won't have a whole lot of mouth when a real person say, oh, that's $20 for a two-week supply. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Don't you go get your nails done that's ruining your uterus every two weeks for tw for $25? <laughs> that's what I thought, sis. Come on, don't play with me. Don't play with me. How much you think the herbs... I guess I just can't make nothing. I guess the herbs, I get $5. Because if I was getting them at $5 a while, you shouldn't be buying them from me because that means they trash-ass herbs, okay? So if I got to spend, what, $15 on all the herbs that go into your package, and I'm selling it to you for $25 plus shipping, I get a $10 profit. I'd be damned if I raise the teas to $30, $35. Y'all going to burn the streets down. But y'all can let people sell y'all all type of junks and spend all this money on things you don't need. And you didn't call a heart attack at 31 because you driving a Benz that you clean every week and your insides is trash. And that's as real as it gets. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be mean to y'all. But I'm just telling y'all the real. I'm tired of being responsible for what your husband doing. I'm over it. He not doing right and you're wasting money on the teas, just stop. Just stop. I don't know what else to tell y'all. If he eating stuff, you're eating it. He feeds you. They got something that I want to say, but I can't say it because these are for my seminar piece, people. But I break down semen, 
Okay, he is held responsible. He ain't even proven in innocent. He guilty right away. <laughs> he guilty right away. Tell him, divine. Tell him. And that's the quality of your baby. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Why, why you mad at mommy? I haven't even been on here that long. <laughs> that's the quality of your baby. He smoking hella weed, hella pork. Your baby come out hella, hella smoked out, hella porked out. That's, that's you or him. A quality or sperm quality, and that's facts. So he gonna feed you whatever he feeding you, and that's gonna be what it is. I don't have to. I'm not trying to have sessions on bashing y'all mates, cause I don't care what you do. But what I'm saying is, don't come bashing me when they're not working. And hubby is eating everything under the yeah, sun, right. and his sperm is trash. Like, don't do that to me. That's not my fault. You gotta get yeah. him together. I didn't do that. I didn't do that, Divine. You need to tell him too, Divine. Tell him. Tell him that's not my fault. <laughs> tell him I don't got nothing to do with that. And then I think this the one that really get me. We eat clean. We eat clean. What's clean? What's clean? Okay, I want to know what's clean. When I ask them that, they can never reply. What's clean? Y'all, we eat fairly healthy. What's healthy? I want to hear it now. What's healthy? <laughs> I don't want to hear no impossible burger healthy. Because they got vegans that will be dying a slow death. Okay? I guess real in these seminars, y'all need to come out and see me. Because sometimes I'm not going to talk about it on here. But what are, what are you eating? What, what do you consider healthy? What is considered healthy? Y'all making impossible burgers every night? Y'all eating meatless meat crumbles? All that soy? Turning these men into soy boys? Turning the women into testosterone women like y'all don't understand that soy soy switches the components it turns him into a feminine man and you into a a masculine woman soy yes soy this is what i'm talking about all that tofu and all that stuff y'all eating they call it plant-based and y'all be on me about the ingredients in my teas but i would love to see a damn plant that could form meat so how is it plant-based Y'all have to pay attention. Pay attention to what this is plant-based. These are all the new meats coming out, plant-based. For real? What plants them is? What, what chemical? Why, the, the last chemical in there that you use to preserve it, where that plant at? <laughs> no, it's not plant-based. Stop the foolishness. So y'all got to get real out here. I just feel y'all put more time into chasing the wrong things than to waking up. And that's your own fault. Because in this time of all this information, that's your fault. If you ask me a question, I'm going to holler at you and let you know the real, and that's what it is. Okay? You mad? Come on. <laughs> My baby don't got no hair. <laughs> we hurting over here. She need hair. No, I'm just fine. She... Oh, Lord. Where, where we going to be in a year? Can y'all believe she's six months? She just made six months a couple of days ago. I can't believe I was with y'all my whole pregnancy. I cannot believe this girl is six months. I cannot believe some of y'all gonna know me and this girl gonna be a year old. Oh my God. Now don't expect me to have no more babies until I'm 41. I'm not playing, so it is what it is. But um, I'm about to go. So anyway, there's this dentist. I just want to tell y'all this. This is some good news. There's this dentist in Chicago that I think can remove my mercury while I'm breastfeeding. I'm excited. If I get this mercury removed, y'all gonna see me level up. Like, I'm going to be like, it's over. That's the only thing holding me back. When I get this mercury removed, ha, watch me, okay? Okay, I already, like, I'm already cooling. My vagina don't got no smell. Oh, man, let me tell y'all this real quick. They had this girl, like, she one of these big girls that a lot of people follow. And uh, she was doing this seminar, and this girl, she sell, like, feminine washes. Oh, that's another thing. Y'all ask them what's in them feminine washes that you shoving up your cat? Y'all ask them what's in them pearls that you putting in your cootie? Nah, you don't do that. Where them ingredients at? But anyway, anyway, so she sells something. I ain't going to say the name. You know, I ain't hating on nobody like that. But y'all got to be real careful out here, man. Y'all got to be careful. I'll be seeing some shit. I'm like, man, they, they getting these women. Because this the time where the women want to take care of their cooties. But they got people out here that, that's just snaking off y'all, man. Snaking off y'all. That's why I be trying to stress these 100% teas. Sugar, no sugar, no fillers, no additives, none of that other shit. None of that other stuff. Because you got these women giving y'all feminine washes and y'all stick up y'all. And that's not 100%. What is that? That citric acid. You know, you got the little few funny end ingredients. What's that, sis? What's that? You know, I'm, you putting apple cider vinegar up your cat. Come on, man. That's an acid. 
Y'all need to go. Y'all went to school, right? I didn't do none of that school stuff, you know? It, it never worked for me. I was real smart, but I couldn't stand it. Come on, man. They don't let, so they don't label apple cider vinegar as, as an acid? Come on, pay attention. <laughs> pay attention, straight up. You know, I was taking the pearls. They was helping me. That's cool. If it takes your body, oh, I can't say that. I forgot that seminar. Your body has to take some time to get used to semen, sis. That's, I, I can put it to you like that. Your body takes time to get used to semen. To that one man semen. So what you think about you putting something else in there? What's your body? You think your body gonna be like, oh, this is a Yanni Pearl. I know what those herbs are. You, you think your vagina recognize that? Come on, man, stop it. Here, here's the mine. I'm sorry. I know you're mad. I'm about to get off, I promise. Like, you know, let's be real. Y'all using all that stuff. So anyway, they were basically saying on the little like thing or whatever that the vagina is going to have a smell no matter how good you eat. How good you eat. And then one, one girl came on there and was like, oh, no, I thought that if you were eating right and, you know, you were taking care of yourself, your vagina didn't smell. Man, they slaughtered that girl. Lies. Lies and garbage. Every vagina is going to smell. No matter how good you're eating, it's going to all the smell. I'm like, oh my God, where have we come to? Where have we come to where we realize, where we say to ourselves, sickness is, is okay. Ear infections are normal. Your vagina having a smell is normal. No, water. Water. Why water don't stink? Why water don't have no smell? Your vagina is an outlet, so it's going to smell like whatever you're putting in. Dog, I have not had a vagina smell since I went vegan. Then I went alkaline vegan, and you talking about water. Water. But they misleading women to tell these women that it doesn't matter how good you eat. It doesn't matter how good you work out. Your vagina still going to have a smell? Since y'all tripping out here, you, you want to sell your products that bad? That they got to wash with that feminine wash that bad? For you to lie like that, I couldn't believe it. I was on the floor. I said, I ain't coming on here. They going to eat me up. They going to eat me up. I ain't even doing it. Y'all be posting me and stuff. Them women be trying to eat me alive, man. I ain't with it. If you feel like you, you should walk around with your vagina smelling a certain way, no matter how good you eat, that's all on you. I don't need to argue with nobody. I don't need to argue with nobody about the quality of my... I'm tired of that. Yo, you got to smell. You can't smell it. How could that be when I could smell it when it smells, sis? But I can't smell it when it's smelling good and it don't got no smell because I can't smell it. You lying. You gonna tell me about my cat. You let your OBGYN tell you more about your cat than you do. And you ain't, you're not playing with me like that. Straight up. I know about my cat. So anyway, that's, that's not factual. Your vagina does not hold a smell. If you doing what you gotta do, if you doing what you gotta do, and hubby skeeting all that acidic semen in you and y'all passing all that acidic fluid back and forth, then you gonna smell too. And then he he not gonna think he the problem. He gonna be looking at you like your cootie smell. And I be thinking to myself, man, come on, bruh. You know damn well you done ate all that stuff. You done had all that coffee. You done, bruh, stop it. Stop it, bruh. You, you just as held accountable because you feed me. You know if it's sperm healthy, this man can give you minerals and vitamins through his semen. Do you know that? Zinc? Iron, this what you could be getting from your partner that you're not. But instead, you getting, you know, you getting roast filled pot chicken and shit. That's garbage, man. That's garbage. Like, really, I, I, I don't know how much to stress it. Like, you don't want all that in you. Straight like that, you don't want all that in you. Just like, you know, he don't want you with no stinky ass vagina. He don't want to be putting his, if, if he an alkaline man or he a man who eat <laughs> He a man who eating right here. I don't want no trash cat. I didn't seen the men say that. I'm not messing with her because she eats certain things. And you shouldn't. You don't want to be putting your semen inside that. She got something to give you too. She giving you all that acidic. Like, nah, bruh. No. <laughs> Straight like that. So anyway. Let me just. I got to end this because I got to go. That's just ignorant people. I thought you was calling me ignorant because I did get real ignorant on here today, which the meaning of ignorant is not knowing. So technically, I didn't get ignorant. It was just ghetto. So anyway, when you wear copper and your skin turns green underneath, that means that your blood is acidic. That's the fun fact for today. It does not mean that the copper is a cheap product. It means that your blood has too much acid in it. 
And that's why in the ancient days, they would put the copper on the skin just to see how acidic your blood was. So when you use copper, here, you can have it. I'm sorry, Divine. You're mad. When you use copper and you put it on your skin and it smells a certain way and your skin gets green, that's you. Don't go try to get your damn money back. That's your that's your blood. That's acidic. Straight like that. And then, um... Y'all, all that processed, uh, all that processed food vegans are eating, man. Y'all tripping. I don't know what to tell y'all. I'm so ashamed that you have to have these kind of talks with people. Yeah, bro. Because they, um, they be trying to play me. I be wanting to, like, fight them. That's, I be wanting to fight people, man. <laughs> I just had a baby. I'm trying to be a butterfly. Y'all gonna make me just mess people up. Like, what? what's the problem? Stop asking me my ingredients. And I don't want you to feel like you won when you came in my inbox asking me for it because I didn't give you all of them. I just want you to know I'm sorry. You know, I got to live out here. I did all... Oh, Lord, you scared me. Oh, my God. <laughs> I did all this work. You're not about to take from me. Why is it that everybody else can have a business but a damn herbalist? That's not fair. So you mean to tell me people who make chemicals... And all that stuff got the right to sell you all these products. But because I'm giving you something that grow in nature, I'm down bad. Y'all tripping. That's not fair. That's not fair. And then eventually, I'm going to have y'all. I'm going to probably charge just a little bit for y'all to send me pictures of you and your mate. And I will not be giving a diagnosis, treating any cures or nothing, nothing like that. <laughs> But I could kind of lead you somewhere. I don't really know how to put it. Because you know you got to protect yourself. But what's the word? You know I'm not going to be giving y'all no diagnosis. Everything I'm doing is for fun and entertainment. And to not treat or cure you or do any diagnosis. All that. Okay? So um, I can give. if I'm going to start letting y'all send me pictures. And I could tell. That's how cold I'm starting to be. I could tell which one it is. Like I'd be like dur, 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 him. Saying that secretly y'all be knowing. I think it's him, sis. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's him, sis. Hey, ma. Hello. Hello, Lynette. Get up. <laughs> Don't show me. That's manager and CEO of the Goddess Collection. She doing all the work while I just pass out day to day. No. <laughs> Come in, But, uh, yeah, get her. Get her. Hey, guys. That's moms. That's what she be sending y'all some emails. Peace and love, Lynette. That's her. <laughs> She be calling you, hello, this is Lynette from the Goddess Collection. <laughs> That's her. Stop putting y'all around that dress. I'm fussing at them today, man. As soon as I woke up, you seen them bags in my eyes? Lord, I had to clear with them. And the more you stop, stop putting, eye, it makes it look worse. Stop putting around that dress. Take your time. I'm going to get them teas out to you. You know, sometimes we miss all this. I ain't lying. We trying to get them tweaks out because I'm tired of doing that. Women say, listen, I, I ordered a month ago. I ain't get it. I say, my check, check the computer. And see this name. She say, oh, Lord, it was never sent out. I say, how was we missing it like this? How? Like, I don't understand how this damn system works. But sometimes every blue moon, we'll get an order and it get lost. I think it has to be your payment is still processing. And we do orders for that day and then it complete. And it still go back to that day, but we finish. So we don't go back and check that. So, listen. Like I'm saying, if you got to stalk me, stalk me. And then most of the time... If you put on my... Now, don't come flood my damn page. If you put on that, I sent you an inbox, sis. I'm going to go check it right away if I'm on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? So, you could do that, too. And just send me email, email. But I ain't going to lie. If you come on my page and you say to me, like that lady said to me, my sister has been emailing you and sending you DMs, which I know is going into your spam because you aren't friends, so you don't see it anyway. And you haven't responded. I'm disappointed. For real? For real? Okay. Cause, cause I'm a bad person. You right. I haven't I haven't responded because I hate you all. Like, come on, sis. Don't like that. That's gonna make my blood burl. And I won't literally get back on the comments and like disrespect you. But in my head, I'm gonna be thinking to myself, like, that's what I'm gonna be thinking. That's that's what I could say like this. Mm, that's what I'm gonna be thinking, okay? Because as much love and respect as I show y'all, don't do me that. Just say to myself, you could even, why, why not do this? Hey, my sister's been trying to reach you. Here's her email. Go check it out. Bam, I'm on it. Don't, don't play me. Don't play me because I feel like y'all be getting a little disrespectful, you know. And that's not cool. That's not cool whatsoever because I'm a human. 
it's like I'm an alien. Ah, not playing. Whatever. Like, you know, and I'm just, I'm just like y'all. And had I not been mothering right now, I would have slaughtered this business and y'all wouldn't have nothing to say about me. It's a dentist in Chicago and I'm definitely, um, see, I called it because I wasn't going to get the mercury removal. I was breastfeeding because there's a chance that I could, you know, smell some of, the, some of the vapors or swallow some of the vapors and I could get that through my breast milk. Now, normally, let me correct this because y'all going to say, well, we thought that you could fast while you're breastfeeding. Yeah, you could do a light fast. Yeah, you could do certain things while you're breastfeeding because your breast is not typically what we call an elimination point. This is why your breasts never stink. If your breast stinks, something is wrong. But if you notice the breast never really holds a smell because that is not a point of elimination. Your nose is a point of elimination. This is why you would get mucus coming out your nose, your vagina, your booty. Whole, all of that is forms of elimination. The breast is not. So when we talk about doing life fasting while you're breastfeeding, okay, no problem. Don't go and do a 70-day fast while you're nursing a child. Just don't do it. But what I'm saying is the mercury. Okay, this is how this works for me, okay? Now, that's why I'm telling y'all when I get this mercury removed, it's over. I'm really going to be getting y'all ass. Because there's going to be literally nothing holding me back from point A to B. Which, the mercury don't really hold me back. For some instances, it do. You know, they have the scars on side right here. Because I have mercury all in the backs. And I didn't have the scars until the mercury came. Because it, like, eats at the skin. The mercury is very deadly. Very, very deadly in general. Like, it's the number one neurotoxin in the world. So you have to be careful even where you get your mushrooms from because when mushrooms are growing, they bind to heavy metals. So you got to be just conscious of everything. You feel what I'm saying? Conscious of everything because you think it to yourself. I'm eating good. I'm taking my mushroom powder where you got that shit from. I keep telling y'all, do it organic. Is, is, everything, is anything really truly organic? No, because of the wind, because of the ocean. But you're not dealing with a situation where they're spraying pesticide directly on it. So... Do what you have to do, but do it right. So anyway, with the, with the mercury in my mouth, which I have nine of them, nine of them, and you, literally you all don't know what I go through mentally when I have to breastfeed a child knowing that I have nine mercury fillings. So that's my fault because I should have got them removed before I got pregnant. So I ain't looking for no pity. I take full responsibility for that. But anyway, so I was contacting uh, this, this, I just so happened. I don't know, spirit led me. And I'm like, hey, look. How do y'all feel about taking mercury out while you're nursing? She said, well, look, we do it all the time. I'm like, how do babies respond? And shit like they're fine. I was like, you know, are y'all going to give me anesthetics? Because I don't want that going through my breast milk. She was like, no, we're going to give you the oxygen and knock you out. I'm like, whoo, for real? So if I get this mercury removed while I'm breastfeeding, because I'm going to get a little done at a time to see how she responds. Yay. Like, I'm going to be like gangster, like. Get that mercury removed if y'all can. Not if you can. Save $5 a damn month. That mercury will literally destroy your life. I watched my mama get nine of them removed and blossom into something that we haven't. There's nothing even was wrong with this lady. But she started to be even better than what she was. Like, unreal. And then I seen this status where this lady say, well, if you're avoiding, avoiding mercury from the fish while you're pregnant, why in the world would you get a flu vaccine? Or any vaccine with all that mercury in there. So I, it just it, it makes you wonder why you do certain things. If they tell you not to eat certain things while you're pregnant, you know, should you even be eating when you're not pregnant? Should, is that something you should give your children? Should you give your children vaccines if the mercury count is higher in the vaccine than it is in fish? So y'all have to be wise about all of that. Y'all just have to stop paying attention, paying attention to stuff. It's normal not to naturally, y'all, yeah, they normalize sickness. It's the weirdest stuff. You normalize your vagina stinking. You normalize his semen having a smell. You normalize your baby having ear infections and diaper rashes. And then what? When women don't get it, we're malnutrition. That's the weirdest shit I ever heard in my life. So I eat right, but I'm malnutrition. Like, come on. Why am I? Okay, so... But, but you you heavy and, and a little fat, though, right? So we know you're not really, which fat people could be male nourish too. But your hair falling out. So, like, this, we got to stop the foolishness. We got to stop the foolishness. And I hear, you know, I ain't going to lie, it really, I really feel sorry for a lot of, 
a lot of the pregnant women who are more so like, I'm not taking these herbs while pregnant. <laughs> that you're pregnant, sis. <laughs> I don't know what you know, but will come right back and tell me because my doctor told me that could have a miscarriage and he has me on this other medicine uh, to help my pro pro progesterone levels go up. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You ever looked into that, sis? What's the effects? What? Then do I get to the baby? No. Yeah. So let me go back to that real quick. So mercury passes the breast milk barrier. That's why I have to, I want to get this mercury removed. It presses, it, it, it surpasses that barrier because basically, you know, that barrier protects the baby from getting any type of toxins that may be in your milk. Oh, another fun fact. You know what? I ain't going to get into this because I'm going to have a whole bunch of people arguing with me. Y'all do what y'all do. I, I will. That's fine. That That's fine. That that's just fine. So anyway, um, we're gonna go into at my seminars. We're gonna go into why I don't pump breast milk. We'll we'll go into that. Um, we'll go into why I feed on demand. We'll go into why I do not support. Which I kind of let y'all know I don't support y'all sticking those yanni pearls inside your cat. Um, and then you ooh. And then I'm about to be finished because I got to go start orders before uh y'all like try to murder me or whatever. Where's my order? I hate you, Crystal. Anyway, so uh real quickly. um Damn, I forgot what I was going to say. Lost it. Dang, dang, dang. I was talking about the Yanni Pearls and them feminine watches y'all be shoving up y'all cat. Um, I forgot. what Will the blood purifiers he help help with what? The mercury in your mouth? Well, actually, here's the thing. Um, if you take the blood purifier tea and you have the mercury in your mouth while you're breastfeeding, it will purify the blood, but it will, you know, you still have it there. You, you know what I'm saying? So it's like it's trying to purify the blood, but it, it actually really can never, it can purify it, but you still have the mercury there. You, you got to get the mercury removed and then like cleanse your blood and stuff like that. Um, there was something I needed to tell y'all and I completely forgot. Anyway, October 2nd, seminar with Q, um, at 5.30 p.m. October 19th, Baltimore, Bar... <laughs> I need sleep! What's happening? Baltimore, Maryland, with Tony from the Meta Center. If you're learning how to be a superhuman, if you're tired of God, I can't even get into religion on here. You believe whatever you want to believe. You know, like I had this lady come in my inbox who said they were Christians. And she was not comfortable with me calling myself the fertility goddess. And she did not want to awaken the goddess in her. And could I give her the concoctions to my herbal formulas so she could go purchase their, them herself? But I wanted to know. That if you couldn't take my herbal formulas because I was the devil, how could you get advice from me? Because I'm also the devil, correct though? I don't know. Whatever. What should we eat? Follow the food guy, guys. That's electricity. If you are trying to heal, that is not even, that's important. Here, I don't know if y'all listen to Dr. Savy. Real quick, let me get into this. This is why the food guy is special to you. This is what's, what's going on. You were made from nature. There are certain foods that are made from nature. They hold a certain amount of electricity. When people take certain foods from out of nature, splice them together and cultivate them, your body does not recognize that as food. Okay? So this is where you get into eating electric from, eating alkaline from. So you want to eat, and then y'all say, well, total alkaline, because there's a million and one excuses why you can't get your shit together. Total alkaline is going to kill you. This is why some of the things on the list has acidity in it naturally. Nuts, chickpeas, spell wraps, all of that is slightly acidic by nature. So are you going to die from the alkaline list saying it's 100% alkaline and you're going to get alkalosis? No. 
but you don't be talking all that noise when you're eating 100% acidic diet and you can get cancer, which feeds an acidic environment, lupus, herpes, all of that. You don't talk all that noise. I'm going to get 100% acidic. You don't say all that. So stop with the BS. You're going to do it, do whatever. Don't give your ingredients. If people have allergies, they can tell you, bingo, I already know that. I'm not playing with them. They got offended. They mad at me. They're going to delete me after this. That's cool. I'm going to have other people be my friends who need it. If you block me, that's your loss. I don't really be caring. I got a lot going on. I don't care. I'll be sharing anything. Okay, Eddie. Peace, brother. How you doing? But okay, so I got to... I'm going to go. But like, y'all got any questions real quick? Oh, dang. I keep forgetting. Oh, my God. That blue bird vein got me high. It's beautiful. The blue bird vein is the truth. No longer than seven days. If you... Don't be listening to me talking about she said I could take the blue vein and you on day 28 and your bones is cracking and you about to die seven days on, seven days off with the blue ver vein, okay? Although it is gentle, you have to respect herbs. Can you speak on the gold and the notes you send with the tea? Yeah, you should be eating gold. You should be eating gold. Gold is a mineral. Your body is composed of gold. Gold, silver, all of that. You should be eating gold. And when I say eating gold, it's powderized. You're not going to be chewing on the gold that you buy from the store. So you take that and it renews the pineal gland. Your dreams are, are sufficient. You can take it while breastfeeding. If you take it while breastfeeding, use a half dose. Give that baby those minerals. Y'all scared. Y'all scared to get baby herbs. Y'all scared to get baby herbs and natural stuff that come from the ground. But you just down the whole Pepsi and you breastfed your freaking baby. Yeah, I'm going to stare into the camera like that. I'm going to make you feel uncomfortable. You just down the whole jar of sugar. Sugar is classified as a drug because of the way that it responds to the brain and the nervous system. And your kid running around here with that so-called ADHD can't calm themselves down. Their nervous system is wired. And then you beat their ass. Because you didn't give them the foods that made them nuts. Period. <laughs> I know you're not being rude, girl. I'm, I'm going to check that email. Thank you for telling me like that. I appreciate it. But anyway, so yeah. Sugar is classified as a drug. Anyway, um, yeah, you want to you wanna take the gold. Gold is a very important mineral to have. Indianapolis, Indiana is waiting on. I got a lot of customers from Indiana. I freaking love y'all. I'm going to definitely make that in the tour. Definitely. Okay, so back to the back. Okay, October 1st, Q. Y'all need to get y'all names read. See what y'all trying to be in life. Um, October 19th, although I'm speaking for an hour, I will be doing consultations and I will be there. Like literally, if you fly out, I'm going to be there that day, the day after. So we'll talk. You know, you got to pay me for my time, but cool, whatever. You know, if y'all respect my craft and you, that's what it is. Anyway, um... And then November 8th through the 9th, I'll be in Arizona. I can't wait for that. I'm I'm really hyped about Arizona. And then um I don't know if y'all need me after that. Y'all just let me know. Y'all just let me know. So do I like your tea sip before drinking it? Room temperature, room temperature, room temperature only. Room temperature only. Do not drink my teas hot. If you drink them cool, drink them cool. Don't drink them cold. Okay? But I'd rather you cold and hot. Do not drink it hot. Okay. Anything else, y'all? Because I be wanting to say so much stuff. I can't really say what I want to. On her YouTube video, she shows you how to do a yeah. Caps. Oh, you, you talking about a, a root canal, then a cap? Every single root canal with a cap over it. They said the person, 98% chance of uh, breast cancer. What happens is you put the cap over the a bacteria that still sits there because you have the root attached. I always get my orders promptly in my emails and so you won the lucky one, sis. <laughs> Where do you buy your mushrooms? Okay, so uh I don't do mushrooms because I have the mercury. Every now and then I'll do mushrooms, but as of now I left them completely alone because of the chance of them binding to the heavy metal that's inside of my mouth and going into my bloodstream. Because I have to listen to my body. I did not respond well. Are the caps in your teeth what mercury you're talking about? Yeah, the silver fillings. The silver fillings. Yeah, the neck glasses. Yes, yeah, sis. You know Velen. Velen, you right. Okay, yeah. So uh I would if you're doing medical mushroom powder, you can do the medicine. He, he don't play. Okay, all these herbs are not alkaline. Whatever. 
But the herbs that you do choose to get from the medicine, he gets those from small organic farms in his area. So mercury fillings are very daily. I never thought about mercury until you taught us today. I'm going to research it. Ooh, girl, mercury. Mercury is the number one neurotoxin in the world. In the world, on the planet. That's how that it can cross the placenta barrier, just like caffeine. Just like caffeine. So y'all play with that caffeine all y'all want. And y'all don't think that y'all think it's okay. Caffeine, coffee, chocolate is destroying y'all on my top 10 uterus list. Get it together. And then it's snuck in the, the, the weirdest stuff. So y'all gotta pay attention. No, tell us I can't I can't say certain stuff on Facebook if y'all want me to stay alive. I can't. Processed food, yeah. Say it says, how long should I let your tea? All this in the instruction list, okay? <laughs> Send the 15 minutes, no more than 30 minutes, all right? Some of the roots, you can soak roots for eight hours if you want, okay? You can do that. The most most of the other ones you want to do 10 to 15 minutes, no more than 30. Um, Because ginger will get volatile after 30 minutes. Any other questions? Do your addiction tea work? Sis, go look at the review. All you got to do, they got they got a, a caption. Don't ask nobody that. Now, see if I was a bad person, they could tell you anything work. I don't, like, come on. I got reviews on it, sis, or uh, uh, him. I don't know who even asked me. I can't even see. Go search my search bar and put in addiction, free tea, or addiction. All, everything I talk about addiction is going to pop right up. So, you go see if it works. Yes, remove the problem. Yeah, you are so right. Yesterday I told, I can't see. Yesterday I, ooh, the nerve of some people. Oh, Lord, I don't know. Do your addiction. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my God, I feel so horrible. Yeah, I didn't see the rest of it. I, um, yeah, it'll work for addiction. Smoking, weed, alcohol. Um, when you are doing sea monsters in New, I mean, oh, when you're doing seminars in New Orleans. New Orleans, I live here. They're one of the hardest people to reach, sis. The hardest people to reach. I had a seminar out there. That had to be my lowest crowd. I know that. We got to we gotta wake up, bro. We got to wake up. We, we really do. Started bleeding today, a week after my period. I'm so mad. That's cleansing, sis. Y'all got to go through that mountain to get to the top. That's cleansing. That's cleansing. Let those, let, let whatever's in there come. The blood not just going to come. The tea's not going to poke no hole in your stomach and make blood come from nowhere. That's cleansing. Let that go. It don't need to be up in there. You know, tell that man, calm his little penis down. He be all right. Tell him, let you clean that uterus. Where do you get the power to go? www.metacentorchicago.com It's cleaning you out. I was just, thank you for saying that. It's cleaning you out. Hey, Brittany, I got a root canal. What should I do about the canal? I don't know. See, we mess up so much, but we don't be knowing. We don't be knowing. We don't be knowing. You're such a beautiful soul for what you're doing for the people. I love y'all, too. Waiting for that doula training. Yeah, you're not going to be certified. Listen, you don't got to be certified. I want a certification. Okay, go give them people their money. <laughs> the people want they want a piece of all the money. Y'all don't understand that. You grew up doing hell all your life. This is what black girl magic was about. You got five year olds braiding hair. Cold, cold. Braiding better than me with, with no fingers. Okay? They braiding. Now they got to go get a license to do what they was born to do. Pay attention. You're a doula naturally because you're a woman. Now you got to go get a license, a certification from who? That's a man giving you that certification? The state giving? He know how to be a doula? Come on, man. Wake up. Add me when you delete people. I love your boy. Okay. They had me do a cash scan thinking I had a pen that. Now you came out to that seminar. What I told you about all them scans, sis. I don't, I'm a fuss at you. <laughs> For real. All right, come back to Detroit. Who Detroit was hard on me, y'all. Something in that water. Oh, let me not say that. I don't know. I, oh, my God. I don't know. I mean, it's beautiful there. How is the Yanni Pearl different from the Earth? Why is it bad? Because you stick the Yanni Pearl up your cat. Your, your cat don't recognize stuff like that. What's in that? Herbs you're putting up your vagina. That you Nothing goes in there. Nothing goes in there. I'm not trying to dog. Here, here's the thing. It don't matter what I say. If you want to go get them pearls, go get them, sis. 
I swear, I'm I'm really like, whatever I say, it's, it's not set in stone. You go do what you feel like your body needs. But the difference between my herbs and the Yanni prayer, you don't stick the herbs up your vagina. You're ingesting the herbs to heal through. You're sticking the Yanni pearl in your vagina, in you. That's that's what I'm against, putting stuff in you. I can start at the Meta website, come to Florida. I want to come to Florida for a damn vacation. So when you were pregnant, did you use doctors or took care of yourself? I took care of my own stuff. I didn't go to the doctor ever. What herbs are best to use for herbal baths while pregnant? Depends. Um... What, what what you trying to heal? Herbal you want a herbal bath for just soothing lavender. You can do a little chamomile. You know, as long as you're taking it in the bath, that's cool. Um, you're beautiful by the way. I look like shit. Thank you though. What about when you steam? Steaming is totally different. Steam steaming, you're not putting nothing in you. That's straight steam. It's not you're not sticking something inside the vagina that literally has to sit there. Tampons too. Do you have anything for the heart? Heart harmony. Do you provide lessons on herbal knowledge? What should I do to learn more about it? First, you got to be an herbalist at heart. I don't have a cycle, by the way. Um, How much? You got to be an herbalist by heart. And then you have to go, because most of the information on the internet is conflicting. You have to do loads of research. And I'm talking about learning from the elders. You have to go on YouTube. You have to see these videos from these elders before it's too late. You have to go see those things. They are the ones who know. Come to West Peach Bone. Come to... Okay, wait. Somebody was asking. What do you wear during your cycle? I don't have a cycle. You know, y'all, I, I talk about bleeding all the time. If, if you don't know about how much you should be bleeding, you need to scroll down my Facebook. Remember that the... Uh, the egg that you drop is the size of a grain of sand. All that extra bleeding y'all do, y'all tripping. You should be able to free bleed. Which elders' names? I say it all the time. Oh, Lord, let me not get mad. <laughs> They're going to be like, is her hormones together? Okay, because it's like, why? Don't ask me like that. Sis, like, what elders' names? It's uh, I say Dr. Deva Blair, D. Gregory, Dr. Sabi, the main one at that. What, wait, did you say you don't have a cycle? That's what I said. Feel me in? I gotta go, y'all. Because I talk about this all the time. I talk about this all the time. You should be able to free bleed once that age drops. There's even... Come see me. Y'all come see me. Y'all just come see me. Just, just just, come see me. If you're close enough, come see me. Um, I t just, just, just go to the top of my page and Google Cycle. There you go. Shanika Harper, thank you. Because I, I say them all the time. Crystal, have you ever thought about putting a description of what the TL would... Girl, yeah, of course. I ain't got no time, but I got to... Oh, she say, oh, okay, don't fuss at me. <laughs> don't take it personal, sis. I'm angry. No, I'm just playing, but... um, I know Dr. Sabi. Okay. I don't... Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me, y'all. Okay, so Dr. Sabi, Dr. Lily Africa, uh, Dr. Dick Gregory, Dr. Delba Blair. Um, I'm in New Orleans. My son has a fatty liver. And we just started a vegan diet. Do you know anything that can help the liver? Yeah, my kidney kindness tea helps the liver. What is free bleed? Free bleed is the point where you don't have to wear a pad. So everybody should be able to free bleed because the way that you're bleeding, you're hemorrhaging. That's the problem. You're hemorrhaging. You shouldn't be... Why Why we think that it's okay to bleed three to five, seven days because your doctor told you it was okay. So that's why y'all do that. When will you come to Chicago? I just left Chicago, sis. I just did a seminar. What that was? September 5th, y'all? But I do love Chicago. I would live there, but y'all snow up there, so I can't do that. But, um, what I wanted to say, I forgot, y'all. But anyway, so yeah, that's my tour. Um, I'm sorry for the ones I was cranky with. I guess it's time for me to go balance myself, huh? <laughs> my bad. But yeah, so, just 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 go back and watch my other lives. There's a thing that you could click on where all my videos come. Tube side baby boom slight bleeding. Yay. Ha ha. Okay, so so with that baby boom trying to untie them tubes. Anyway, uh North Carolina. You may have had because sometimes when you tie your tubes, you have fluid, scar tissue. You can bleed from that. So her YouTube is Crystal the Hell Advocate. When you come in the NYC, I wanna come all these places. So I, I need to come to North Carolina because there's this sister that I want to train to answer my messages. 
what is for a regular appearance the baby boom janet harper look back at the live she called my name oh sanika harper because you <laughs> i'm sorry i already came on here with that with that uh ghetto -ness. so my bad for snapping on you but i love y'all still atlanta needs you i'm actually going to come to atlanta too I'm coming to Atlanta, but it wouldn't be for a seminar. But if you know a place, let me know. Maybe I could do that while I'm out there. Yeah, now listen, if one of y'all get pregnant from my baby boom who have y'all tube side, I'm going to have to show your face, okay? Because these women really ain't going to believe that. They don't believe nothing I say. Nothing. She's lying. None of these women are getting pregnant. <laughs> when she comes to North Carolina, Philly... Just let me know. I'm going to come. I, I got to get myself together because I got to update this website with more information. I got to uh, get a list of like booking. I got to start doing consultations. I got to really get myself together. I'm going to get myself together. But I think that I'm going to go and put my baby to sleep because y'all didn't left my live anyway. Y'all ain't messing with me no more. But y'all, can you tell me about your quitting nicotine herbs? I really need help with that. Well, what it does, I tuned in. Says, okay, um... It would be great. I'm going to write a book. Hey, girl, it's just crazy. Life is moving like an Amtrak train. It's crazy. So I'm trying. I'm trying to do a book. I'm, I'm... <sighs> I'm going to get it together. So anyway, um, wait, she just asked me a question. I forgot. Okay, the the herbs. Anyone know the, the medicine or website? Yeah, I'm going a, I'm to a post it, in, I guess, on the top of the video. But the addiction-free herbs, basically, they have natural herbs in nature that mimics tobacco well this is where they got tobacco from from nature but they made it all junky they have a herb called labilio and i usually don't state that herb because that's not an herb you can really take by itself but i have that in the addiction free and because it is a natural form of tobacco it helps the body not want the artificial form um does the addiction free help with food addictions no that's the sugar craving addiction and the vanish craving addiction when my scar tissue is clear from your tea, I'm going to send my whole following your way. I'm having, I have you loaded. I know I'm going to start doing points for that too. Where people are sending me people and I give y'all our discounts and stuff. I'm going to start doing stuff for that too. But um, anything else y'all before I go? <laughs> before I get back to the back. Okay, no. Y'all tuning in, but I'm about to go. Anything else, y'all? <laughs> so I drink it. Yeah, you drink it. It's a tea, sis. You drink it. Need help? I have your tea. Will it help with PCOS? PCOS is the fibroid fighter in the baby boom. If you don't have success with the baby boom, you want to do the baby boom plus or the baby boom supreme. I need a consultation. You my friend, girl. You just need to uh, inbox me because I'll just give you my number. I got my tools untied. Hopefully, the baby boom help. Oh, my God. I've had success with that. I've had success with the people having their tubos, tubal reversals and getting pregnant off my tea. So, yeah. Is there info on my website? Yes. The info on my website to buy tickets for the Maryland event. Love you soon. Let me know when you write your book. I started on your fibroid fighter. And after a few months of bleeding, I have no longer had. How do I time my ovulation to get pregnant? Okay. So, try... Inbox me. Inbox me, family and faith. Inbox, in, inbox me or email me. Because I, I want to talk a little bit more about what might be going on with that situation. Your hair is really gone since you were out here. Yeah, it just gets bigger the less I comb it. What do you remember? They, they put the white fillings in, which that's probably not 100%, but it's way better than the mercury filling. I feel like we, we need to get... I feel like we need someone to get these men together. Sis, if I could... Y'all bring them. Bring them to these seminars. I have more and more men at my seminar. One man told me at the Chicago seminar he was there so he don't get put out. So, you know, warn them. Do you have a heavy metal cleanse for children that have autism? No, I do not, sis. It, you're looking for a uh, Tylee Doula. She has a heavy metal cleanse. I Certain things I just won't touch, maybe in the future. But, um... Uh, uh, a kid with autism needs a parasite cleanse and a heavy metal cleanse. They go hand in hand. I just love you, sis. You're amazing. Yeah, man, I had somebody on there saying 
they all in this sister inbox. Don't listen to her reviews. Why doesn't she have a Nobel Prize for healing people? What? Because that goes against what they would like. Dude, you need a whole lesson in life in general. I can't believe in listen to this. If the sister believes him, sorry, sis. Go get you some meds. <laughs> why they don't have a Nobel? Why they don't have a uh, Nobel Prize for healing cancer? That's what I want to know. I need a consultation. I got to start charging for them. But in the meantime, email me. We'll be inboxing you. Do you ship to Canada? Yes. Laugh out loud with that face. Get it, sis. I have the baby boom. What is her name again? Okay. Tylee, T-Y-L-E-E, -E, Doula. She on Facebook. When will you be able to provide consultations after I sleep? No, I'm playing. I'm just saying, y'all. Um, soon. Everything coming soon. See? What I want to do, I want to have this banging, like, Christmas, you know, at the, the, the year is coming to an end, they're fake in year, you know. This is the fake new, this when they do the new year and all that stuff. But uh, what what happens is once, like, here is September, we got October, November, December, you know, I hope everybody's getting pregnant. I'm going to do, like, some serious gift cards. I'm going to wrap it all pretty for you guys to leave an option to send it as a gift. So the end of the year is going to be like really banging. So what I want to do is the next, like January, that's going to be like the stuff. Harmony, I mean, divine is going to be almost a year. I'm going to have like all my stuff together where you can book me. The website's going to be up. The, the start of the fake new year is just going to be that, the shit. Okay, sorry, mama. It's going to be the shit. Like, it, no, it's going to be better than the shit. It's going to be, like, amazing. I got my tools untied in Louisiana. Okay, beautiful. Let me get you pregnant. I'm playing. So, okay, y'all. I got to go. Everybody else got to go. I show y'all got to go because everybody leaving alive. I got to go. But, uh, like, I love y'all. I'll see y'all later. I woke up all angry and stuff. Um, It's a new year once nature is reborn. Boom. Period. One last thing before I go, since a lot of people not watching now, which is this still is being recorded. Y'all ever wonder if the stuff they prescribe to y'all, they take themselves? Peace and love, y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Mm-hmm. <laughs>